I am back in England now. It's sunny and it's warm and it feels like paradise, like the spring is here and I just wanted to show you some of the sights that I can see on my way from home to Windsor. I'm now in Eton and what always amazes me is these beautiful trees um, by the gates and I have no idea what they are called but maybe you know. Let me know if you know the name of this tree because I actually have no idea and I would love to have it in my garden and it's always in full bloom at this time of year. I think it's absolutely stunning. So can you help me? <laughs> and I must tell you I absolutely love this gate. I know it's one of the private gates to Eton College but look at that. It's definitely my dream gate now for my Villa Monica. And look at this, that's another thing which is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this magnolia. It's as big as the college. I mean, come on, how many years would it take to grow? Oh, and look at that lawn. This is my dream lawn for my house now. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love my daily walks uh, through Eton and past Eton College. Uh, I always admire the buildings. Uh, I may not be a fan of the system, but you know, you have to admire the history. And I just wanted to show you one of the that I walk past. And it's this gargoyle here, and it's this guy with a pipe running through his mouth onto here and I always wonder who could he be do you know let me know if you know who he is <laughs> funny isn't it I have no idea but I always wonder and now that I walk into the Eaton High Street I'm going to show you some of my favorite sites and shops. But before we do that, let me show you this beautiful white blossom here on the grounds of the chapel. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't spring gorgeous? So these are some of the college buildings I usually walk past and I wanted to show you this wonderful blue one which I think is very cute. What do you think guys? I love it. It's blue. What I also like in, uh, in England, which I think is quite charming, is these hanging baskets and how well they are maintained with the flowers and the ivy to drop down so that they give a bit of extra charm to the buildings. As you can see, they are almost everywhere, also here. Also, look at this willow tree. I think I haven't seen a more beautiful willow trees anywhere in the world and I absolutely love the greenery of the UK and the ivy, the ivy is a must. I mean, even in the winter it seems that this country is green. No wonder it's called a green island because there are so many evergreen plants planted all over. Oh, and some of my favorite flowers of the spring. The bluebells are out. Oh, they look beautiful and they smell gorgeous. Can't even describe it how well they are always presented here. So that's another must for my garden. <laughs> And can you hear the robin singing? <laughs> oh, I've missed robins. We don't have them in Poland. I don't know why. Uh, 
I was laughing to my mama that I'm gonna have to bring a couple of robins in my bag to Poland and hope they can live in our garden singing every day from the morning. I think it would be wonderful and I think it's a great idea. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna get a couple. And this, this bridge, this shows the water levels here and the floods that took place over the years, how high they were. So 1774, Wow, that was almost as high as the wall. And then 2003, and that was quite bad too, because all of this would have been, would have been flooded. Interesting. Right, so now we're walking into the Eaton High Street. And some old shops, uh, tailor shops. This making outfits yeah, for costumes. No, I shouldn't say that. For the, the college in Eton boys. <laughs> Suits, probably better. So, this one says it's estimated 1784. That's quite old, isn't it? There is the Eaton Stationers, also a cute little shop. Tudor, is that like a cafe um, or an ice cream snack shop for most of the Eaton boys? And I've never ever actually been there all those years, which is funny. Um, there's still so many places I haven't been to, I must tell you. That's quite a nice... Uh, Old shop, 1896, and I like these spikes. <laughs> there we go, a nice little dress for a girl. Billing Edmonds for school outfits. More hanging baskets. We are getting closer to the Eton Porny School. <laughs> Always made me laugh. Oh, wonderful Easter decorations. But that's oh, a new cafe here. I haven't seen that before. Oh, wow. Brand new cafe. There you go. So, this is my local shop, Budgeons. But I call it Budgers. If you read my book, Finding True Love, you would know why. Because I like the Budgers. <laughs> so this is the Eaton Porny School. There we go. I told you. That's the one. That's the one. Look at that door. So, obviously the architecture is something that I do appreciate here in the UK and uh, I'm definitely a fan of some of it. I like the history and how buildings look. So, I definitely do get a lot of inspiration from being here almost 20 years now really so you can't you can't blame me for being inspired and influenced by it all uh, it's a church and here we are walking towards it is so difficult very nice antique shop with all the paintings and a stunning view of Windsor Castle from the other side of the river. Wow, that's amazing. I love it. I will never be bored of the sight of 
Windsor Castle. I mean, Windsor is a wonderful place. And look, more hanging baskets. A nice cafe. <laughs> more happy dogs that I would definitely be saying hello to if I wasn't filming because I always say hello to most of the dogs here and they're all so friendly oh here is a little lilac-y pinky drop and the Christopher Eaton Hotel with the lovely flower pergola and here is a lovely Tudor looking building it's a barber shop inside. I do love the um, the Tudor buildings and architecture and here there's a renovation of a very old building and they call it a cockpit. One of the oldest buildings in Eton dating back to the 1440s. It's a half wielding and is one of the best remaining examples left in England. It had many uses, including a tavern named the Adam and Eve, as well as tallow chandlers, chandlers, abattoir, and ironmongers. Jesus, some crazy words here. Uh, and it's home to one of the last remaining sheep knuckle bone floors in the country. Oh wow! So pictured here were stocks that used to sit outside the building. It was apparently frequented by Charles II back in the 17th century when it may have been a cockfighting ring. Well, that's quite cool. But most of the history was an Eton antique shop, but I heard it's a closing down, so it's hardly ever open. And here is the Eton Mess pub restaurant, which is very, very nice. The food is amazing. And it's a lovely little cafe. They sell some amazing Italian cookies. And here's another pub. And there's the Gilby's, which is also a very nice restaurant. And I do love these little secret gardens behind the gates. And there is a new bridal shop, so that's two on one street, which is very short, as you can see. <gasps> uh, so this is going to be all properly, crazily decorated for the coronation of King Charles, I bet you. Just like it was for all the jubilees and weddings, and it's going to be crazy. So that's going to be excited, almost just literally a month away and Windsor and Eton are going to be fun and look at this view, my daily view that I see when I walk to Windsor and I'm never bored of it, it's just incredible, this bridge and the view of the castle and surprise surprise the king is in. And how do I know that? I will share a secret with you. I know that the king is in the castle because of the royal standard flying on the tower. So if he's in, it's the royal standard. If he's out, it's just the Union Jack. So there you go. I shared a little secret with you how to know whether the king is at home. <laughs> it is one of his homes, isn't it? So this bridge is lovely. I always stop here, have a little rest, watch the swans. This is a lovely cod brasserie restaurant and to sit by the river. It's just incredible. And on this side we have these modern flats which look a bit like fish balls because you can see <laughs> so much into them. And here is another view, which is great. Some um, boats that can take you on a tour, river tour. And yes, this is it. We are on Windsor Eaton Bridge. 
And this is a famous place where my bike was stolen one day. Yes, it was very painful and cruel, but I parked it up to go for a walk in Windsor. And when I came back, I literally stood on a bridge for a while. The bike was still there and I was having an ice cream. And within five minutes of me having finished, turning around, the bike was gone. And I was gutted. It was a lovely foldable bike. And now all I can do is just walk again. So as you walk towards the castle, there are some lovely antique shops uh, with some beautiful things to look at. Um, this one's almost empty now. Um, but yes, this is the, the view of the castle. And only one side of it. It's massive, it's huge. <laughs> That's a fun shop too. Some great stuff in there. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> so Giggling Squid restaurant is one of my favorite Thai restaurants in the whole world. I mean, the food is fantastic. Uh, the Thai green prawn curry is to die for. Ah, oh, it's looking beautiful. Just like I love it. I love this. So busy today. Well, it's Easter. So lots of tourists. There we go. Look at this. Gorgeous. And there is some renovations going on now. And Windsor is definitely getting ready for the coronation. There you go. It's all about King Charles now. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> there is the Duchess of Cambridge pub, which is quite nice, overlooking the castle for a little gin and tonic for a pint of beer. More souvenirs and happy queens waving and Mr. Bean. <laughs> I've got that duck, the queen duck. God save the king. Oh dear me. God save the king. This is all in preparation for the coronation. <laughs> Yes, and as I said, there was some crazy works going on at the castle now for some reason. No idea why. I think they're putting the new road in or something. The Heart and Garter Hotel and the Ivy Restaurant, which is really, really nice. Some great cocktails in there. And yeah, this is a massive project. I've never seen that before. Dear me. And there's this new monument, supposedly, for the Queen's Jubilee. Platinum Jubilee. In recognition of it. Here's uh, my bank and some lovely <laughs> pictures for sale that you can buy. And here is a statue of Queen Victoria, my favourite. <laughs> I love Queen Victoria. And a story with Prince Albert and some more souvenirs. Oh 
dear me, look at that. Coronation, King Charles the Third. Look at that. You can even buy this guy. No, you can't, it's just a decoration. Oh, there's still some stuff for the Queen, but now it's getting replaced by the King. Oh well, life, I guess. Life. So yes, so crazy busy, and this is a favorite cafe, Escoris Coffee. I love sitting here with my favorite flat white, and my mama when she comes to England, God, she loves that one. She just sits here watching people, carts, and enjoying the view. She loves it. The town hall and the crooked house. There you go. It is really crooked. Look at that.